all right my people welcome back onto this channel well this is another strong one reaching us still on the matter your urban nation not going back exactly what it is exactly what the people are talking about oh yes so on to this one sunday Bobo releases another fresh message hmm on to this says and i quote i was not expecting the buhari's administration to send security agents after me all right this is so strong chief sunday would never expected that but it actually happened all right why reacting when he was asked if he was expected that president muhammad buhari would send security forces after him when he started the struggle for yoruba nation he said he was not expecting the former president to do so he said and i quote i was not expecting the government of former president muhammad buhari to send security agent after me because our struggle for the actualization of the yoruba nation was constitutional peaceful and then legitimate well we were civil with our activities hence we never expected a responsible government to see our agitation as harmful to the peace of the country he said that as a member of the yoruba ethnic group integral to nigeria's diverse nationalities he experienced violation of his right by the previous buhari administration and the, the intrusion into his residence in ibadan which was accompanied by security agents resulted in the death of his aides and then injuries to several others further talking sunday Igbo claimed that the joint team of the dss and the nigerian army personnel unleashed bullet on the entire building leaving it seriously damaged and then that his fleet of mostly brand new cars were also affected all right and they know a lot of things have actually been said by chief sunday Igbo on to this one and then meanwhile a lot of people have asked different questions concerning that yes yeah, so, and then no if you take a look at everything that actually happened you know that nothing far from the truth yes it was supposed to be a peaceful you no know, rally peaceful demonstration but it was turned to something else this is very very wrong yes yes we are already in it and they uh, know a lot of things will be definitely tackled as far as this movement is concerned either they like it or not yes so god is in his no his miracle and the uh, the thing is that nigeria has actually failed a lot of people but fat let's see how it's going to play out why is the not afraid of agitation anyway why are they no longer the born to rule region all right a lot of people are still reacting well bros fight on buhari is dead all the money he packed to niger government have lost the new military government have seized the money that is why that bastard never run okay well that's another one that has been said a lot of people are even reacting to the situation on ground that even the buari you are talking about on his own part that one till law <laughs> that's so serious hmm well good talk bro those idiotic fellow abusing sunday oh yeah you shall know them by their fruit all right well i don't know definitely you know they will people will talk we know People will keep talking because you no, know, some of them have you no know, have been frustrated. That's all I have to say about that. Some of these people are frustrated, frustrated on their whole part, so they will just be talking blah blah blah. At the end of it all, nothing to show for it. Yet they are killing them. Even in Yoruba land, it's happening now. Amongst the Yoruba movement, uh, the agitators, it's happening. They are still against Chief Sunday Bo. But the truth of the matter is the movement the agitation is based on peace and uh, no and uh, the people already know that 
we are freedom fighter so we see no reason why the buaris government will come to attack well what sunday Igbo said here is a slip of tongue coming from scott dunn okay wait and then see okay wait and see what tinumbu's administration will send okay this one is coming from the you see can you imagine what the northerners are saying oh you see, that's exactly what we are talking about. Now that you saw the has said this, that he never expected the Buhari's government to send you no know, security personnel to attack them. And then now the Northerners are coming out, they are reacting in their own way. That don't worry, your own brother will do worse. That is a letdown. That your own brother. And then that always takes me back to you no know, each time I remember how majority of the yoruba people came out in their numbers that yes a miller call we must yes so this time around we are going to change the narrative for good since it's our yoruba man don't let us neglect it everybody voted now look at the northerners are now laughing at you people that even your own president will not vote for god was you see what we are talking about a lot of people came out in their numbers just because they want a good thing to happen I will not blame the people who actually voted for Emilio Kong. They never expected it. May, from May to now, my brother, how many months is that? Majority of people were even coming at that. Uh, maybe May, June, before before end of June, before two months. <laughs> my brother, my sister, is now more than okay. Let's count. May, June, July, August, September, October, November. This is December. Seventh month, my brother, is getting worse by the day, on the daily. Go and check the rate to dollar right now as I speak. 1170. Yes. Somebody is selling 175. 1100. Oh, where are we going to? Who is deceiving who? My brother, my sister. Who is deceiving who? They say your own person, he go do worse. This one has been said by Della Hamad. He said you should wait and then see what the number administration will send to now. I never see anything. Well, you see, that is why everybody needs to wake up. Yeah, so, hmm. Well, according to Colonel Williams, he says, well, the agitation of Chief Sunday Bowo was civil and uh, constitutional. Why then did Buhari send security agents to look after you and the uh, red bullet at your home, killing your aide, which made you to flee overnight? Yeah, Buhari's administration doesn't want to hear any form of agitation, be it civil and uh, constitutional. During NSAS protest, was it not civil, but youth were killed by security forces? Yes, we are saying the same thing here hmm. that's exactly what we are talking about hmm. yeah so well meanwhile a lot of things we already know is going on that's why the wise ones on their own part have made it clear that it's, a, it's just going to be a matter of time it's a matter of time because the people have sat back they have watched and they have seen it that nothing is actually it's not actually working the way it's supposed to work yes except we just want to deceive ourselves it's not actually going the way it's supposed to go yes and then that is why as it stands right now the northerners were of the opinion a few days ago that they never they never said anything they will not do that anything they say they will do they will surely do now now go saying i want to do something i know go do them then where did they say that one they said it simply because they have made it clear that they are going to send the yoruba people away from the north if chief sunday Bowo insists that their own people should leave yoruba land they too they will do the same thing and at the same time they have made it clear that they will make sure they will stop sending food hmm. sending in food to the southwestern part to nigeria to yoruba land meaning they believe that and then they control the country you see shame on our leaders the yoruba monarchs well now they then declare now this is a let down this is a slap on your faces come a few a whole region that has a fatal land as fatal land that you can do and undo they stop you people from going to farmlands they started buying your people one after the other no wonder they killed a lot of people but then by dr aboro yes no one had a pie but dr borodi so you now you won't come from our brother you won't come from germany maybe you can't make on invest so that now can't get a farm 
they had that meeting that no no yoruba man should be allowed to farm they buy the man what a pity till now nothing there nothing happened thank god god raised chief sunday but that was when chief sunday came out that no way enough of this only god knows what would have happened by now only god knows what would have been going on what would have been happening a lot of things atrocities were committed they did that they are still coming out to tell us that now sunday Bo they scattered the country it's so painful it's so painful that our monarchs our leaders are not speaking out they are not telling us what we need to hear they are not ready to tell us the truth because they believe that uh, bamu, bamu la won you, won femo, beya, ebe un, pa, me, me. but they forgotten that there is god in heaven who created the heaven and the earth the one who has the whole world under his feet that can, at the at the blink of an eye he can command things to happen against you people that believe you own the whole world we are in it together we are watching but one thing for you people is that you should remember that you did not create yourself and then you should remember that you are not bigger than god yes it's going to get to a time in fact it has gotten to that time that everybody needs to come out carol joe adura except if the people are not you know working and they're doing the writing for the country if we the masses we are not brought in into this world into this uh, country by god in one after the other one of the urban nation agitators was no raining a lot of uh escape so what are we saying ah my brother and my sister a lot of things are actually been said unto this one still on the matter yoruba nation no going back exactly what this exactly what the people are talking about what more can we say meanwhile let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless